Hey friends. Okay, this chapter is called Do Not Let Go. The water's cold, so it burns. I paddle frantically. Nothing happens. It's like pawing air. I keep my teeth tight on rowdy. Do not let go. Do not let go, I tell myself. But the water's churning into my nose and throat, and if I cough, <clears throat> he'll be a goner. We hit something hard and metal straight on. I'm underwater, submerged, as bits and pieces of the world rush past. It's like the tornado, only water. I dig at the darkness. I think of all the things I'll miss when I'm dead. Cheese tops the list. Well, okay, maybe Ivan and Ruby and Julia and George and Sarah top the list, but then totally cheese. My back paws graze the bottom. My nose burns. My lungs burn. Everything burns. I have to cough. I can't cough. Mustering all my strength, I struggle to the surface for a moment, fighting the water with my paws. Rowdy is dead weight in my mouth. I hit bottom again, and this time I use it like a springboard. By the way, dead weight does not mean rowdy is dead. Dead weight is um, when something is just hanging as if it's dead, and so it's even heavier. It's not, it doesn't have any give. It doesn't have any uh, structure. It's just like, bleh. So that's called dead weight. I hit bottom again, and this time I use it like a springboard, lurching toward the edge of the water, toward solid land, toward grass and dirt and trees and bushes and a whoosh of fur and pain. Oh man, the pain. Someone grabbing my paw, losing it. Teeth, sharp, sharp teeth. The smell, even with my messed up nose of wildness and danger. Something grabs my scruff, yanks, pulls me to safety. Back to the world, back from the brink. And the next chapter is chapter is called Kimu again. Kimu has me. He drops me to the mud. His teeth smell of blood. My blood. I drop rowdy. My teeth smell of blood too. So they were biting so hard to get. Kimu was biting so hard to get Bob out. And Bob was biting so hard to hold on to rowdy um, that they, they actually broke the skin you know, uh, Kimu broke the skin of Bob, and Bob broke the skin of Rowdy, not not trying to bite and hurt them, but just holding on. So that's why he smells the blood. For a long time, no words come out, just panting, coughing, panting some more. Nothing from the puppy. I shove him with my paw, nudge him with my nose, nothing. I look at Kimu, his fur spiked, his eyes wild, different, unknowable. I guess they didn't shoot you, I say. They tried, he says, eyes on the puppy. Thank you for, I trail off. He glances at me. I didn't do it for you, I pause. I did it for me. With his right front paw, he claws at the puppy, at Rowdy. Hey, I say without really thinking or registering the size of his paw or realizing that he's drooling just a little. He, uh, I put my paw, my puny, pathetic loser paw on Rowdy too. He's my, my nephew, and well, I, I didn't take you for the sentimental sort, Bob. I'm not. Just, you know how it is. No, actually, I don't know. I'm a wild animal, not a pet. Still, <clears throat> I clear my throat, and I remind myself that rolling over and peeing myself is not an acceptable option. Still and all, he's scrawny, might even be dead, who knows? You better get better, you, get, you got better breakfasts at the park. I recognize all too well the look he gives me, the look of sadness and loss and anger, the look of someone who will never forgive the world. He's running with the puppy dangling from his jaws before I even know what's happened. The next chapter is how. I don't know how I do it. If I did know, maybe I could understand that other part of me, the wolf part. I run faster than I've ever run. I growl louder than I've ever growled. I grab Kimu's throat. I clamp down. I do not let go. Boys and girls, in case you are not able to make an inference or draw a conclusion, um, Bob is concerned that Kimu is going to eat the puppy. So Bob is going basically on the attack. Bob is attacking Kimu so that Kimu will let Rowdy go. And here's a picture of Bob on his way to Kimu. The next chapter is called Gone. He can kill me. With a sidelong glance and a half-hearted bite, he can kill me. I know that, but he doesn't. He drops the puppy. He shakes me off and pulls free. 
He pauses, looks at me like he's seeing me for the first time. He gazes at the sky, thick with clouds. No moon, barely any sun. He raises his head. His howl is long and sad and beautiful. He runs. The next chapter is first aid. Rowdy still isn't moving. I don't know what else to do. So I bite the heck out of his tail. Perks the little guy right up. <laughs> Oh, boys and girls, I'm so glad Rowdy is okay, but <laughs> that is an awfully funny, funny way um, of Bob to respond and Bob to decide to try to make sure that Rowdy is okay. The next chapter is The Truth. It hits me then. I'm so tired, so banged up. I can't go on, even if I want to. I carry, carry Rowdy to a sheltering tree. I cuddle him close. I give him a couple licks for good measure. Now what, he asks. Now, I say, we wait. For what? For humans, I answer. For help. Are you sure they'll come? I think for a moment. I remember all the people I've seen today, the police and rescue workers, the park employees, the staff at the shelter, the folks in the donut shop opening their door to a strange collection of animals. I remember George running to get Julia and Julia trying to get me and Sarah struggling to find them both. I breathe in the sweet smell of puppy. It's important to tell the truth. I'm sure, I say. Because remember the question from Rowdy was, are you sure they'll come? And he says, I'm sure. The next chapter is forever. It says the eye of the hurricane passes. The eye of the hurricane, boys and girls, tends to be the, the most dangerous part, the worst part of the hurricane, the center. The eye of the hurricane passes. The storm rages on. It feels like a year, like nine years even. It feels like forever. Oh, you guys are going to love this picture. Look at Bob and Rowie. How cute is that? All right, friends. I'm going to stop there. I am going to tell you the name of the next chapter. It is Rescue. Again, would Miss Fletcher read you a book that didn't have a happy ending? I don't actually know because I never read this book before. I'm reading it for you for the first time. It just came out in May. It just came out last month. <laughs> okay, the next chapter is Rescue. It will pick up on page 317. And this book goes to like 335. And then there's an author's note that we'll read afterwards. So boys and girls, we have like less than 20 pages left, which is probably just two more days of reading. I usually read about 10 or so pages a day. Um, I try to do about 10 minutes, but I've been doing a little less lately because, um, because we're almost done and because I'm trying to get it to keep on going. I'm trying to keep you interested. Also, um, when I came to visit you guys to deliver your portfolio, I had a conversation. Angelia asked me a great question. She asked me, what did I like better, the one and only Ivan or the one and only Bob? So it's not over yet. might be hard for you to judge, but it would be interesting for me to hear your comments. If you want to comment in Google Classroom today, which one do you like better, uh, the one and only Ivan, which we finished, or the one and only Bob so far? Um, I know Angelia's answer because we chatted about it, and I can tell you my answer if we can get this conversation going in Google Classroom. So I'd love, love, love to hear you um, comment which one you like better. Uh, and put it in the, you know, the chat for the read aloud for today. And I will comment as well once we get that conversation started. Also, a reminder that I said on Zoom, and I think I may have said it on one of these videos, forgive me, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I forget. Uh, August 21st, the one and only Ivan, not the one and only Bob, is supposed to go straight to Disney+. Plus. I know I talked with Sean and Ryan about it when I visited with them. Uh, super excited. I think I did tell you because I think I said, you know where I'm going to be on August 21st? In that room on the couch, watching the one and only Ivan. All right, my friends. Until next time.